Hi. In this tutorial, I will be explaining to you the science behind launching a satellite into Earth's orbit using a rocket, and I will be showing you how you can simulate launching a rocket with a satellite into Earth's orbit and making the satellite rotate around the Earth using Python. Let me first run my Python program. Here you can see I have a moon rotating around Earth. We are launching a rocket here, and this rocket now releases a satellite. So let me zoom in so we can have a look at the satellite. Here we are launching another rocket, which will release another satellite. One rocket can actually release more than one satellite, and if you want, you can do that. But for my program, I am only launching one. Another one, and we'll wait for another rocket to launch. Here it is. Now, that will be our last... Wait, here's another one. Okay, now that was our last rocket. Let's have a closer look at these satellites. Here you can see we have our North or South Pole. how launching rockets with satellites work in real life. Let me explain using this Python program I created. Now, let me zoom into the sphere. As you can see, I have another sphere inside that sphere. This is the wall of our little sphere room. So let's just wait for this picture to come. Here you can see we are launching a rocket. Here are the initial forces on the rocket. There is the air resistance force, the gravitational force, and the perpetual force, which is the force that the rocket uses to push itself up. All the forces together will give us a net force, and that net force also equals to the mass of the rocket times the acceleration of the rocket. The air resistance force depends on how fast the rocket is traveling and the atmosphere's air density. So our stage one is a straight trail with constant perpetual force. Here you can see we still have these forces the air resistance force going this way, the perpetual force going that way, and the gravitational force going this way. And with these angles, we get the net force in this angle, which is, we can see we have a parabola, and then we subtract this amount. We get this vector here is also equal to the mass times the acceleration. Stage two of the rocket over here, Perpetual force equals to zero, it will leave a parabola trail. 
So you can see here. Finally, when the rocket goes into orbit, it orbits around the Earth. We have our, here you can see we have our resistance, which is zero, perpetual is zero, and we almost have no more gravity either. Now we have these variables, the perpetual force, the gravitational force, the wind resistance force, the rocket's acceleration, the rocket's mass, the Earth's mass, R, which is from center of Earth to the center of the rocket. Here we have the gravitation constant, so this is a number that won't be changed. We have the centrifugal force and the velocity of the rocket. The centrifugal force is this formula here, and the gravitational force we can get from this formula here. The centrifugal force and the gravitational force must be equal in order for the satellite to rotate around and not fall out of orbit or get sucked back into Earth. So you can see here, if the centrifugal force is greater than a gravitational force, which can also be called the centripetal force, the rocket will fly out of orbit. Now, otherwise, if the gravitational force is greater than the centrifugal force, the rocket will come crashing down back to Earth. Now, with the two formulas here, we can get that the velocity of the rocket equals to the square root of the gravitation constant times the mass of the Earth over R. Now we'll just let this sphere complete one or one rotation. And we made it. Now let's have a look at how we can create that program where we launch rockets into outer space. First, from vPython, I import everything. Now I define a function that will return the function for a parabola. So this is for the rocket before it runs into the Earth's orbit. Here I define a function where where they will return the length, or should I say the distance between two vectors, so x1, y1, z1, and x2, y2, z2. So here I have the formula. Now I define x1, x2, all the way to x5, and set them all equal to zero. You will see what this is for soon. Now, body size will be the size of our, the body size of our satellite. Here's the color for our satellite. Now, this is the wing size for our satellite, and this is the wing's texture. So I grab a picture, wing.jpg. Now, let's see here. Here I don't have the address, that's because it's in the same folder as my Python program. Here I have my Earth. It's a sphere with radius 4, and here you can see I grab a picture for the texture, and I do the same thing for the moon, only that for the moon, we want to move its position. So the default position is 0, 0, 0. Now I define my 
five rockets. I set them to equal to arrows. So arrow comes built in in vPython, and they will return an arrow. And these are in position zero zero zero. So you won't be able to see it. It's covered up by the Earth. Now satellite body one. This will be the body for our for satellite number one. Here I set size equals to body size, color equals to body color. So I already defined them here, and I do the same thing for the the satellite wing and satellite body all the way to number five. And this box will return a box. Now, while true, I want my rate to be thirty frames per second. I let the Earth rotate in this angle, so this amount of angle is per frame, and this is in radians, and it rotates around the y-axis. Now, the moon position will rotate. Here, I can see I'm rotating the moon. And it's the same angle with the same axis, but I am plusing the position of the Earth, so this way it will rotate around the Earth. If x1 is smaller or equal to four, x1 plus equal zero point zero one. Now rocket one dot position will equal to this vector. Here I have the x. Here I have the y, and here I have the z. So you can see here we have zero, and I have a zero in this function. Here you see my axis. Now let me just go there a bit. And then, if this is greater than four, now I have these. Let me just go down. So else, let me just go down to that other place. Rocket one dot visible equals false. So this is where we switch from our rocket to our satellite. So at first our satellite is invisible. Now we set the satellite dot visible equals true, and the position our of our satellite will be the position of our rocket. So we are sw simply switching from our rocket to our satellite. And then it rotates around with this while loop. Now let me run this program one more time. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called Nets Edu. Today is March second, two thousand twenty. Thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. Have a nice day.